Hey guys, how's it going? Um, just wanted to talk about BMR real quick. Um, so if you don't know, BMR stands for basal metabolic rate, and all that means is that it's um, how many calories your body needs in one day to basically just sustain your weight and keep all your regular processes in your body going, you know, brain function, organ function, all that stuff. Um, so this is really what I used when I first started out, very beginning. Um, because I didn't know what I was doing. So started out, kind of learned about this um, once I started going to college actually. Um, so Googled BMR calculator and uh, I came up with this thing and it's actually helped me a lot. I still refer to it even now to this day, you know, when I go to cut or when I start bulking back up again. So if you Google BMR calculator, it's actually going to be the first hit. Um, so you just click on that. You're going to go and uh, it's going to ask you for your height your weight, your age, and your sex. So just put all that information in um, and it'll give you a, an estimation of how many calories you need um, for a day. So I put all, all my information in and it comes out to 2,083 calories. So that's how many I need, how many calories I need in a day just to maintain my body weight. Uh, it's if I was to just lay in bed all day. That's not accounting for any activity, all right? So if you want to add activity, you go and click on daily calorie needs. All right. And that's going to bring you to another page, which gives you different categories of different levels of activity. So I work out three to five days a week. So I'm going to multiply my 2000 calories by 1.55. It gives me right about 3,200 calories. Uh, so 2,083 times 1.55, right about 3,200. 28 calories. All right, so that's how many calories I need to sustain my weight just to maintain with all the exercising that I do. All right, so when I bulk, that's why, especially this bulk, I'm only doing 36 of 3,700 calories. That's putting me just in, uh, just barely in a caloric surplus. So four or 500 calories in a caloric surplus. And that's right in the range you want to be if you're only wanting to gain a pound or so a week. Um, that's the slowest and the safest way that's recommended to do it actually. Um, so before I was in a caloric surplus, my second bulk, in a caloric surplus of about maybe 800 a day. So I ended up putting on a lot more weight than I wanted to. So, you know, even just that three or 400 calorie difference a day can, can mean the difference between you gaining 20, 20 more pounds of fat or, you know, just slowly bulking up. Um, so this is what I've used if you want to, you can check it out. I'll put a link in the description. It helped me a lot. Uh, if you already know about this, then great. Good, good job. You know, keep on doing what you're doing. Um, but I hope this can help somebody out there. All right. Thanks for taking a check of the video, guys. See ya.